Hello friends, welcome back to the Dork Side. I'm the Dork in the Road. We're here at the Turatech Rally and I'm about to test ride the new Triumph 1200 Tiger Rally Pro, I think. Here they are. So let's do this. Uh, your ride modes are just like the Rally Pro, the 900 okay. mode. I really like the, the gauge system. Yeah, that's cool. Here's your off-road pro. Uh, just like the, the 900, you can't go from your roadie type modes to your off-road modes without stopping. Okay. But you can cycle between sport and road and rain also if you want to have a bad time. Uh -huh. uh, you can do that on the fly while you're riding. We'll stop before we get off-road and you can take it, put it in off-road or off-road off pro. Okay. Uh, that is... The difference is you still have TC and ABS in off-road, but in off-road pro you don't have... Correct. Yeah, okay. Okay. The cool thing I like about it is that when you select your mode, it'll tell you. Oh, it you tells you. Okay. What is there? Yeah. I like to play with the off road TCS and see what it's like. Have at it. Yeah. So. Sweet. Thank you. So, sitting on the Tiger Rally Pro, the windscreen is adjustable. I'm going to put it down though. Actually, I'll leave it up for the road and take it off when we get off road because the wind will be harsh with my goggles. Apologize in advance. First of all, it does not feel as heavy as it is. Nope. I. <laughs> I expected this thing to be a big heavy beast, super intimidating, but no, not bad at all. Um, the reach to the ground is good. Let's see, I've got, yeah, balls of both feet down, easy. I think the seat is in, it's in the low position. Uh, the gauge is beautiful, it's gorgeous. You know, this is the simplistic, I'm sure there are options for that. So this is the big, the flagship, their new bike, the Triumph 1200, one that I first saw at AIM uh, in February and I've been dying to ride ever since and here we are So this was my first priority the bike I wanted to get on the most here and here we are sitting on it We are going on and off-road um, Travis is here with me explore adventure moto go follow him and uh, we're gonna have a blast taking these things off-road These are the rally pros. They've got the full protection kit as you can see tubeless tires off-road tires a Cool little half fender on the back um, Electronic suspension. This is a very expensive very feature-rich motorcycle. I like the clutch lever pull. I like the length. That's good Handguard standard, but they're plastic, as you can see. It's 80 degrees, according to this. Whoa, ho, ho. oh, she's a beast, she's a beast. I'm gonna follow Trav again. Yeah, clutch is in a weird spot. Oh, the seat is very comfortable. Okay, this is dangerous. I should not be riding this. Suspension, it's eating up. This is a really bumpy, crappy entrance because we're literally in a cow pasture. So uh, that's always nice to feel. Oh, I love the, I love the throttle response. I can already feel it. All right, here we go. Health department's here, so that's good. All right, we're in road mode right now. Holy This thing's fast. Feels like a muscle car. Oh, the windscreen's doing a decent job. It is, uh, it's getting it up over my head. So it's got that, yeah, definitely a unique feeling throttle response. Let's see how she does in the corner. Really well, even on these knobbies. Oh yeah, listen to that. That exhaust is amazing. Okay, so you guys know I rode the 900 Rally Pro last year and loved it. Uh, so I'm expecting I'm gonna love this thing too. So we get a short road ride in. Like I said, we're in road mode. Throttle response, very, very pulse quickening. Yeah, but not like, uh, it's not sudden. It's it's not abrupt. It's It comes on smoothly, at least in road mode. I bet in sport mode, it, you can hammer it. Uh, seriously, my first and only thought well, my biggest thought when I got on this bike was it's going to be big, it's going to be heavy, it's going to be hard to ride, it's going to feel... Because I like lighter bikes. You know I'm a big fan of the mid-sized dual sports. And I've had people tell me over the years that the GSs and the other big bikes don't feel as big as they are. You guys know my Africa Twin felt huge to me. This bike does not feel huge to me. It feels, it feels very nimble. I still think it's more than I need because the 900 Rally Pro does everything I want and it's easier to pick up. But damn, uh, this is a compelling, compelling motorcycle already. It's like I told it my fears and it just put its finger to my lips and said, shh, because uh, it, it's got me. So that is a good first impression. The seat is very comfortable, very comfortable. You can't slide back and forth. It's two-tiered, which I hate, but it's at least cushy. Reach to the ground is good, which is especially helpful when you're riding a heavy bike like this. Adjustable windscreen, I like that a lot. Obviously, the gauge is fantastic. Uh, the mirrors are okay. I can actually see behind me, which is rare on a stock bike. Cool. She's just grunty. This bike has a lot of character. It has a lot of character. Not every bike does, at least not in my experience. But this one, oh, I like it a lot. I like it more than I wanted to already. I cannot wait to get off-road on this thing. Smooth. This is a competent, capable, comfortable, long-distance cruiser. It's a bike you could ride from 
you know, uh, Argentina to Alaska. I feel that. And my questions about non-Japanese bikes are always parts availability, bike availability, and reliability. But having never owned a Triumph, I cannot tell you for sure. But I can tell you as a test rider, first impressions, it makes a compelling first impression. Oh yeah, it's grunty. I love the sound. I love it. Triple has a very unique character. All right, this is a much longer ride. So. She gets it. She gets it. It's not super flickable. Part of that is going to be the, the knobby tires, but also, well, it just isn't. You know, it's a big bike. Uh, I, I would take off-road capable over flickable any day of the week. But it would be fun on these twisties, though. Interesting. I think this is this is only the second shaft-driven bike I've ever been on. After that Guzzi, which uh, you can check out my test ride of the Guzzi. V85 TT and also my test ride of the Tiger Rally Pro 900. I love that bike. Uh, it was an amazing ride. Oh yeah, okay. She leads good. Corners well. So much power. Just torquey, torquey power when you want it. But look, carves, carves well enough even on these knobbies. Yeah, she transitions okay. I can't get over how light this thing feels. I forget I'm on a 1200. Okay, load button. Off road. Now, off road. Hit the button this time. Yes, okay. Regular off road. No ABS. Off road map, off road traction control, off road suspension. Okay, I, I love testing out the off road traction control, so we're going to do that. Here we go. Let's enjoy ourselves. Oh, the throttle response is definitely. Uh, you can already tell it is a little bit uh, more subdued, a little slower, but oh yeah, you can spin it if you want to. Yeah, you can. This thing is a beast, dude. Does it feel like an enormously heavy 600-pound motorcycle? No, it doesn't at all. In fact, it doesn't feel any different than the 900, except uh, it's faster. It's faster, and it's wider. She's a wide, she's got wide, uh, wide chest on her. Oh, that off-road TC is nice. I remember that from last year. So it's giving me a little slide, but nothing crazy. So this thing just eats up gravel roads. Uh, some really good potholes on this road. Some decent little tight corners. Here's potholes in a decent little tight corner. Yeah, so that's good. Oh yeah, the suspension, the electronic suspension. This is the first time I've ever had it, but you can feel it just like eating up the sh It's just eating it up. So standing position is very comfortable. I like where the bars are. Nice wide tank, it's very easy to grip with your knees. Good throttle response, very awesome. It's just fun, this is a fun bike, this is it. You're gonna slide the ass end around. Uh, if you don't want to, it's probably gonna happen a little, and if you do want to, you can do it a lot. Yeah, it's jumpy. It's got good, good response, good traction. It's just fun, dude, this is just fun. But is it nimble? Is it nimble, can you tiptoe through the tulips? I think you can, I think you can. Yeah, it's very confidence inspiring when you change directions quickly on a loose surface like this. Look at all these bumps. Yeah, look at how it eats up these whoops. Amazing, actually, quite good, quite good. Oh yeah, if you need to get up over something, no problems. But it's not like scary intimidating. I think the two things I was worried about before I got on this bike was, it's gonna be heavy and hard to handle. I don't feel like it is. And the power is gonna be abrupt and, um, you know, scary kind of, uh, just sort of hard to manage and no not really at all um it's definitely there's a lot there like it's got grunt it's a grunty bike it is a torquey beast down low in particular but uh it is easy enough to manage and that's probably the most surprising thing for me so far dude i forget i'm on a 1200 it does not feel like a 1200 if you put me on this and told me it was a 900 i don't know if i could tell the difference until i twisted the throttle i'll try sitting down for a bit let's see how, how leanable it is oh yeah, she leans in. Get it back in second, where we like to be. Oh my god, yeah, it's a ripper. It's a ripper. How does it do these? So the tank is like right in my very favorite area between my legs. So it'll be interesting to see what a big bump does while you're leaning forward. But it definitely has a definitely has a, a, a sort of a jutting out part right there, which is potentially problematic. Yeah, I'm just cruising in second. Plenty of torque. 
to slow down and do slow stuff. Oh yeah, it's nimble feeling, it really is. It really feels nimble, I'm surprised. So much power though, just an unbelievable amount of power. That is, that is get you out of trouble power. Yeah, I mean, is it a beginner bike? No, but if you have some experience, it's nowhere near as difficult to ride as I was expecting it to be. I think we could go even faster pretty easily. Uh, and I'd be very happy on this bike, so pretty fun. I would like to take it out and really rip. Uh, and also see how it does fully loaded, but I get the sense that with the electronic suspension, which is compensating, and, uh, you know, the additional torque, I, I'd be really surprised if you noticed bags and extra weight at all, honestly. Or if you're carrying a passenger or something like that. Sorry I keep saying it, but I just cannot get over how easy it is to ride. It's just so not what I was expecting from a bike this big. So, well done. Kudos to, tr to Triumph. And, really enjoy the character of these triumph bikes and it has just as much character off-road like this is the kind of bike that you know if you asked me before i ride it rode it i'd be like oh you know you can probably do with some light gravel and but i don't i don't get this impression there's anywhere i couldn't take this that i couldn't take my norton and my t7 except for you know it's a little wider and heavier i don't want to drop it so by comparison i just rode the scrambler and that suspension was so stiff it's bouncing me off the seat on every one of these bumps uh, you can ride hard and fast over this ruddy kind of technical stuff, no worries. Okay, I'm gonna say it, are you ready? Get ready to wear the shirt. This bike is confidence inspiring. Way more than it should be for a bike that is this size. I am impressed. It is fun to ride, confidence inspiring. Yeah, I'm impressed that I can just leave it in second and do all this. I'm not really using the clutch at all. Oh yeah, okay. Now we're going a little faster. See what I mean though? Damn, She's just eating it up. Just eating it up. A lot easier to ride than the Pan America, which is the only other bike this big that I've ever ridden. I prefer this a lot. And the Pan America is fine and it's surprisingly capable, but it doesn't feel like this. It doesn't feel this confidence inspiring and easy to ride. I would not say that the Pan America is confidence inspiring. It has confidence inspiring features, but the bike itself is not confidence inspiring. This one is. All right, we're gonna hit the muddy holes up here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just eating her up right through the middle. Oh, I hit the skid plate. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, sorry, uh, sorry, Triumph. Might have to cut that part out. So she is heavy. You do notice. She flies like a cow, like a dead cow. Oh, see, a lot of bikes say rally, but this one feels like you're rallying. Oh, it's really stable when you're sliding the ass around. That track control is good. It comes in right when you need it. Oh yeah. I could see getting really confident on this. Got some ruts from tiptoeing through. This is fun. Right through that one. This is the end of the road, sadly. We're back on the road. What an impressive beast of a machine. Seriously. Wow. So now we're gonna try sport mode. But while we do, What is this bike for? Well, I would say it is the ultimate. You wanna crush a lot of miles and be able to do just about anything that's gonna be in your path. If you wanna ride thousands of miles, right? If you wanna to tour, but also be able to hit a VDR or do off-road stuff, this is a great bike for that. If you just wanna ride on the highway, it's probably a great bike for that too, but there are better ones. Uh, but it's, it is damn capable off-road and incredibly comfortable and, and easy to ride on the road. It is the definition, the very soul of an adventure bike, but with unlimited, basically unlimited power and torque, a lot of character, fun to ride, all the bells and whistles. It's an amazing machine, which you should expect for what it costs. You know, it isn't cheap. It's not a cheap bike, so you should get a lot for your money. And I think this bike has a lot for the money. For me, for the rider that I am, I still prefer the midsize. Adventure bikes, personally, uh, I would be very happy with a 900 Rally Pro. I don't think I need a 12. I think there is a difference and it is noticeable, but I prefer the 900. I prefer just a little smaller, a little lighter, um, but almost as fast. But man, if you're gonna ride two up, carry a lot of gear, you just want to be able to cruise it beyond freeway speeds for miles and miles and miles. This is your bike, man. This is a hell of a machine. Highly recommend if you're in the market for a large displacement adventure bike. If you're thinking about a GS, 1250 GS, I think this Triumph is worth a look. I think, you know, all the other things considered, price is similar, there's similar reliability and availability depending on where you live. 
so it's on the list man if i was gonna get a big adventure bike it would be hard to not get this i would it would be neck and neck with the gs for me for a large adventure bike and yes i am including like the africa the new africa twin atas and the harley and all that it would be this or the gs i think i'm gonna get a chance to ride a gs soon i hope but anyway very fun bike very favorable so big shout out and thank you to to triumph for letting us do this for setting up an off-road test ride it is so annoying when you go out on test rides on off-road bikes and you don't get to go off-road so it is fantastic that we have that opportunity here's the bridge here's the motorcycle bridge all right so this is a motorcycle only bridge for motorcycles and snowmobiles and obviously foot traffic but spectacular look at that pretty damn cool pretty damn cool that's fabulous pretty neat we get to go on this big shout out to matt for get, taking us on an awesome test ride he's a cool guy but uh for now and as always i just want to say thank you very much for watching if you have any comments or questions about the triumph tiger 1200 feel free to leave them in the comments below if you have one or have ridden one tell me what you think about it but now and as always i just want to say thank you very much for watching and please do not forget to be excellent to each other well thank you And now we're back to the washboard. Suspense is a lot better than the other one I rode. Oh good, my bike's still here. That was awesome, dude. Thank you. That was badass. Yeah. Matt is awesome. Thanks for the thanks for the ride, man. Appreciate it. Hell of a leader.